So today I'm doing new patient exams and um, young uh, Raquel has just come in for a consultation and she's a good example of someone who has what's called a class two overbite, okay? Now the old way of fixing this bite, we would wait until the child was in high school, uh, had lost all the baby teeth, and then normally you'd pop teeth out and you'd pull the front teeth back, and that's what mum's had done, right? So mum had, how many teeth out? Um, eight in all. Eight yes. teeth, right, yeah. Four molars and my four wisdom teeth. Right. So, so to try and avoid having to pull teeth out, um, what we want to do is get in early for two reasons. Number one, the jaw's still growing rapidly at this age. Um, and number two, we've got to fix the actual uh, problem, which is the tongue thrust. So let me show you what a tongue thrust is. These are really good devices uh, to demonstrate to parents what a tongue thrust is, because if I ask this young lady to swallow now, can you swallow for me, just swallow normally? Yeah, she'll close her lip. And the classic example is the overactive mentalis muscle. The overactive mentalis muscle is a dead giveaway of what's happening with that lower lip forming a seal uh, with the uh, tip of the tongue. And just relax your lip for a second. Yeah, just relax for a sec. So what, uh, breathe normally. So what happens is normally this lower lip lives under those upper incisors. You can kind of see, that's called a lip trap. So we've got to eliminate that lip trap. But to show parents what a tongue thrust is, we use these plastic retractors. Can I put these in for me? Thanks, open really wide for me. Big R, good girl. And the retractors, keep the lips out of the way, just bite together. Now you can really see the extent of that overbite and the tongue thrust. Okay, just swallow for me, that's a go. Swallow one more time, swallow, yep, that's it. And you can see she's trying to get her lower lip to uh, form a seal with the tongue, but it can't because I've got it out of the way. So this is a classic anterior tongue thrust. And the anterior tongue thrust, just open really wide for me, is because the upper jaw is narrow and there's no room for the tongue, bite together. And also because of this ongoing lip habit, the lower lip is getting under the upper incisors and contributing to their proconation. So I want to get a much better facial balance by eliminating the overactive mentalis, by getting the incisors at the right angle, but mainly by widening the upper jaw. So it's a three-stage procedure. We widen the palate. I then give the young lady some exercises to change the tongue position. And finally, using what's called partial bracketing, those lower incisors, which are back like that, we would bring forward so the uppers meet. I don't really want to retract the uppers too far because she's got a very nice nasolabial angle. Remember, if you take teeth out, what's going to happen? Those upper teeth, are going to, the upper lip is going to come back and that's not good for the profile. So it's better for me to maintain the angle of the upper teeth, but to let the lower jaw catch up by widening the upper jaw. Imagine the upper jaw is the garage and the lower jaw is the car. Well, the car's got no room at the moment. So if I widen the upper jaw, I can drive that car in nicely, eliminate the lip trap, and then get the swallowing, happen, uh, the swallowing habit corrected. So that's a good example of a class two overbite, an increased overjet, a lower lip trap, an anterior tongue thrust, all the things that we want to pick up early. And again, if you have children that have these sorts of problems, don't wait till the orthodontic age of 14, because then the problem manifests itself and becomes much harder to correct. Um, between age seven to nine is a really good age to start fixing these problems. Sometimes just the um, abnormal uh, tongue thrust for a, a young kid, uh, we look at what's called a trainer, which is like a, a, a myofunctional appliance, and that can be used even earlier. But at this age, we've got to widen the palate. So seven to nine is a good age to achieve that.